He ordered a special delivery to an East Cleveland rec center. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin tells us what investigators say he had delivered. And this exclusive story you'll see only on News Channel 5. The Cleveland PD says former East Cleveland Rec Center employee Eugene Paget's pockets are a little lighter these days, about $90,000 lighter, because that's the amount of heroin they confiscated and took off the streets. The East Cleveland Rec Center has beautiful paintings of Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, and Nelson Mandela, but it was also the place of employment for Eugene Paget. He's a former Rec Center employee who had one kilo of black tar heroin delivered in the mail to his old job. That's atrocious. That's just not good. Because we have a lot of kids coming through here. Cleveland drug sniffing dogs picked up the scent Wednesday when the package came air mail from Arizona. Arizona is considered a drug source state, so narcotics detectives say it's common to randomly search packages coming off flights. Basically, that's a sad situation. You know, you around, you come to a, a place where family, friends, you know what I'm saying, you got your kids coming here after school. Police allowed the package to be delivered by the mail to the rec center. They even allowed Paget to go and pick it up all under their watchful eye. When he took off and thought he was home sweet home, police arrested him at his house. We try to keep this open but for the kids to have some place to come to. So besides the schools and that's that's another place that shut down at a certain time. So this is the only place they got left to come to. So it's like a, it's a bad situation though. That's not good for the community. It's not good, period. No matter if it's East Cleveland or Cleveland or wherever. Paget is currently being held on drug trafficking charges as well as drug possession. We contacted East Cleveland Mayor Gary Norton to find out why he was fired in the first place. Our calls were not returned. We're in Cleveland. On your side, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.